Burlington as we know it today is rich in historical and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe, the Mohawk, the Neutrals, the Ojibwe, and the Seneca. Our lands surrounding Lake Ontario are steeped in Indigenous history. Acknowledging the land that we gather on allows us to embrace and meet our obligations to the calls for action under the recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. We honor with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous people with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage of the Métis, the territory wherein our church resides is mutually covered by the dish with one spoon wampum belt covenant between the Iroquois Confederacy, the Ojibwe, and other nations to peaceably share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. Restore us, O Creator of the stars of night. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Will you not give us life again, so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Blessed is the Christ who comes in your name. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night as we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will so that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, one God. Blessed be God forever. This is what the Lord God showed me. He was forming locusts at the time the latter growth began to sprout. It was latter growth after the king's mowings. When they had finished eating the grass of the Lord, I said, O oh Lord God, forgive, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord relented concerning this. It shall not be, said the Lord. This is what the Lord God showed me. The Lord God was calling for judgment by fire and it devoured the great deep and was eating up the land. Then I said, O oh Lord God, cease, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. The Lord relented concerning this. This also shall not be, said the Lord God. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing beside a wall built with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, A plumb line. 
Then the Lord said, See, I am setting a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. The high places of Isaac shall be made desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In joyful expectation, let us pray to God, our Savior, and Redeemer. O wisdom from the mouth of the Most High, you reign over all things to the ends of the earth. Come and teach us how to live. Lord Jesus, come soon. O head of the house of Israel, you appear in the fire of the burning bush. And you gave the law on Sinai. Come with outstretched arms and ransom us. Lord Jesus, come soon. O branch of Jesse, standing as a sign among the nations, all rulers will keep silence before you, and all generations will summon you to their aid. Come, set us free, and delay no more. Lord Jesus, come soon. O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut. You shut and none can open. Come and free the captives from prison. Lord Jesus, come soon. O morning star, bright sun of righteousness, come and enlighten all who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Emmanuel, hope of the nations, come and save us, O anointed one. Lord Jesus, come soon.
Most High God, majestic and almighty, our beginning and our end. Rule in our hearts and guide us to be faithful in our daily actions. Worshiping the one who comes as Savior and Sovereign and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory and gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Christ, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen.